A few seconds after this mum delivered a set of twins, they did this, and all the doctors were shocked. Sarah, 15, was in 10th grade when a newbie, Alvin, joined her class. You see, most girls her age experienced the first love from 13 upwards or much later. But for Sarah, it happened when she wasn't even ready. That day when Alvin entered the class, Sarah couldn't get her eyes off him. She liked his blonde hair, his blue eyes, and even the way he spoke. Later that day, during lunch, she walked up to him. Hello, I'm Sarah. If you need any help, you can talk to me, she said and stretched out her hand. The boy, who was also 15, then shook her hand. And that was the first time Sarah ever felt butterflies in her stomach. But this little girl was yet to know that falling in love could be like lighting a candle. At first, it lightens your world, and then it starts melting, and then hurts you. After that first conversation, Sarah and Alvin never spoke again. Sometimes Alvin even caught her staring at him in class, and whenever he did, she would smile. But Alvin never returned the smile. You see, Alvin was quite friendly, and within a few weeks, he had already mixed up with the other kids and would sometimes crack jokes in the class. So why wasn't he talking to me? Sarah would wonder. However, one day, all that changed. One morning, when Sarah got to class, Alvin walked up to her. He smiled broadly and asked Sarah if she would like to go over some math problems with him. Of course, she accepted. For the following weeks, Sarah and Alvin got closer. They played, ate, and studied together. Whenever Sarah was home, she missed her new friend. Then, one morning in school, the duo was studying when Sarah suddenly tapped Alvin, flashed a puerile smile, and said, I like you. I will tell my mom about you, and you can be my boyfriend. She had so much trust in their friendship that she expected an encouraging answer, but something quite heartbreaking ensued. Alvin suddenly got up, packed his books, and left. That was the day everything this duo had vanished into thin air. When Sarah got home, she received a text message from Alvin. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for being my friend. I'm so sorry about the way I left earlier in class today. The boys dared me. They said you like me and I could be lucky to get my first kiss from you. So that's why I started talking to you. I feel so bad. I won't talk to you anymore and I hope you forgive me. Sarah was so sad that she ran outdoors and wept heavily. She didn't even notice her new neighbor's kid, Jaden, was also outside. After watching for some minutes, this boy then walked up to Sarah and gave her a tissue. Hey, I have been watching you for a while. Cry all you can, but promise me you will overcome whatever is bothering you, the boy said. His words were so calm and comforting that Sarah had to raise her head. Looking up, she saw the 15-year-old boy smiling before he said, all is well. Sarah instantly felt safe with him, and she told him everything that had happened. The boy gave her more tissues when the previous one got wrenched. They spoke for a few more minutes, until another girl who looked very much like Jaden called out to him. That's Jenna, my twin sister. I'll see you later, the boy said, flashing one last reassuring smile, and he went to meet his sister. From afar, he waved at Sarah and asked her to go in, and she did. Later that evening, someone knocked on the door, and Sarah went to get it. It was Jaden, and he had a cake with him. Mum is giving pancakes to the neighbors. I wanted to bring this here. Sarah took the cake and introduced Jaden to her mum, Helen. Helen was so happy to meet her daughter's friend. From that moment onward, Sarah and Jaden got really close. Jaden also introduced his twin sister to Sarah, and the trio spent a lot of time studying and playing. Sarah deeply admired the relationship between Jaden and his twin sister. He was very protective of her and did everything to make her happy. Jaden was always there for Sarah as well, and he helped her overcome the pain she felt from the way Alvin treated her. You both like each other, but you just don't know it yet, Jenna would often tease. Jaden and Sarah's friendship continued to bloom, but it never went beyond the friendship level. Then one day, two years later, the trio, now 17, was playing a game of truth or dare. Jenna then dared Jaden to make a confession to Sarah. So he turned to her and said, I wish someday we would have very beautiful twins together. Jenna found Jaden's words funny, so she laughed heartily. But for Sarah, those words hit a very deep part of her soul. Prior to the confession, Sarah had been fantasizing about having twins who would protect each other just like Jaden and his sister. That night, Jaden's words kept her up and she just kept thinking about all the beautiful and happy moments she had with him. He was always there for her. He helped her with schoolwork and always brought pancakes for her. 
those little things now meant the whole world to her. Perhaps I could have twins someday with him, Sarah thought, and went to bed, smiling like a girl in love. Unfortunately, a month later, the twins' dad got a transfer, and the family had to move to Europe. Before they left, Jaden rushed to Sarah's house, and when she opened the door, he threw himself in her waiting arms. We are about to leave now. I want you to know that you will always be in my thoughts. Please take care of yourself. Then he pulled her in for a hug, and she wept bitterly on his shoulders. Finally, they broke the hug, and Jaden took his leave, turning back and waving severally. To Sarah, not only did Jaden leave, but also her dream of having twins with him. She didn't even get to tell him how she was crazily in love with him. How would she ever know if he felt the same way? Perhaps time would tell, or maybe not. The duo kept in touch for almost a year, and neither of them spoke about their feelings. But soon, life happened. Each one of them got busy, and they eventually lost contact. Several years passed, and Sarah, now in her late twenties, was going through her Facebook, when she saw a friend request that made her heart beat rapidly. It was Jaden. Immediately after she accepted his friend request, a message came in from him. I was such a fool to have not confessed my feelings to you. I have never stopped thinking about you. If it's not too late, then I'm going to marry you right away. Well, indeed, it happened this way. These childhood friends finally met in person, and a few months later, they got married. Now you're going to give us the twins we've always wanted, Jaden teased his bride, but she told him to wake up from his dream. Life doesn't always give us what we want, she smiled. Little did she know, indeed, sometimes life gives us so much more than we ask for. The two soon had their first child together, and then Sarah fell pregnant again, but this time it was exceptional. During one of the scans, Sarah learned that she was pregnant with twins. When the doctor said I was pregnant with twins, I did so many things at the same time. I laughed, I smiled, I screamed, I cried. But it turned out these twins were mono-mono-identical twins, which means they share an amniotic sac and are in constant contact during the pregnancy. This kind of pregnancy is delicate, since the twins could easily become entangled in each other's umbilical cords. To avoid such, Sarah was placed on bed rest for two months, while the doctors took care of her. At the right time, Sarah went into labor, and it was at this point that something I think you've never seen nor heard happened. The surgery went smoothly, and within a few minutes, the doctor delivered the baby girls, born 45 seconds apart. Then, a few seconds after their birth, the doctors held them over a sheet, so Sarah and her husband could see them. And that was when the most beautiful thing happened. As soon as the girls were close enough, they held each other's hands. The doctors had seen nothing like this, and they were so shocked. Sarah and her husband's hearts also melted at such a beautiful and sweet display of affection. When I saw the girls holding hands, it reminded me of my husband's beautiful relationship with his sister. I was sure my girls would also have such a beautiful and unbreakable bond. The girls were eventually named Jillian and Jenna. Now eight, they are still as close as ever. They also receive a lot of care from their parents, who are all the proof you need to know that true love always wins.